Hi everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I have another sneak peek of another bundle from the annual catalog, which starts on May 2nd, you can order. I thought I said in the last one, it's May 4th, it's May 2nd, okay? And don't forget, forget, I may have a new host code by then, but any purchases on my website under 150, please put this in the host code section. Um, I would appreciate that. Okay, so my project today is a box that is three by three by one and a half and I made it extra deep because a lot of times if you have uh, you can put a gift this is not wide enough for a gift card but a lot of times the little party favors especially the ones I had hanging around now you could always put treats in here instead of party favors but I have a squirt gun a little bubble ring and a little ducky nail polish. Now I got these, I think, at the party store. Some of them might have been from Michael's at one point. Um, but any little things like this, I know the party, well, my party store has a whole section of spinners that has all little trinkets and things like this. Um, this one I did in the new color bubble bath. And we're gonna be doing the one, uh, this time I'll do one with you that is blueberry bushel. And they're two of the new colors. Um, well, Blueberry Bushel, I believe, is a one that came back. But I'm using the Circle Saying stamp set, which was... it. I'm not sure. I noticed this here. This is somebody's million... They've passed a million in sales, a demonstrator. You get to design a set when you pass a million in sales. But I'm thinking that this cupcake is familiar, so I'm th I don't know if they took from other sets, but I do miss having a little circle thing for tags and things like that. But it comes with, in the bundle, a two and three eighth inch circle punch, which is the larger piece here. You could just stamp it on something that large, but I wanted another um, piece in there, so I used the two inch circle punch with it to get the, the layers there. All right, I also used the Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper for the what I stamped on and the background DSP. So we need a piece of blueberry bushel that is nine and a half by six and a half. We need this piece of the Bright and Beautiful cardstock to stamp our Celebrate Okay, we need a little piece of basic white for the cupcake. Okay, this is from Bubble Bath. It is the punch size that comes with the bundle, two and three eighth inch. And then we have six pieces of DSP, same pack, yet bright and beautiful. Two that are two and three quarter by two and three quarter, and four that are one and a quarter by two and three quarters. All right. So let me get my Simply Scored. And we're gonna start on the nine and a half inch side and we're gonna score at one half, two, five, and six and a half. And we're gonna turn it to the six and a half inch side and we're gonna score at one and a half, four and a half, and six. Now I'm going to fold and burnish the score lines. On the day that, the day before the catalog launches, so May 2nd is when the catalog launches. May 1st is the end of the last chance category because the other, the other annual catalog and the mini are done on May 1st. So if there is anything in the last chance category you wanted, you'd have to get it. There may be, sometimes the things show up in the clearance section later, but I don't know if they will. All right, so we have this so that the skinny rectangles are on the left and not the top. And this is what we're gonna do. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start on the left-hand side. We're gonna to go to the first score line, cut it to the first score line, and then wedge up just a little bit into that skinny rectangle. Okay, we're gonna to go to the next score line, 
cut it to the first score line and wedge each side of the square. Okay, go to the next score line, cut it to the first score line, next score line, cut it to the first score line, and wedge each side of the square. And I leave the score lines attached to that square so that when I wedge it, gets rid of it. Okay, so that's the bottom. Now we're going to turn it around. These skinny rectangles are on the right and the bottom now. All right, so we're going to count to the first score line, cut it to the second score line, and we're going to get rid of these two rectangles. Okay, go to the next score line, cut it to the second score line, and then we're going to take this rectangle off the bottom and wedge each side of the square. Okay, now we're going to go to the next score line, cut it to the second score line, next score line, cut it to the second score line, and wedge up into the skinny rectangle. All right, now for this here, we're going to take that rectangle off the bottom and we're going to wedge each side of the square. Okay, and then the only thing we have left to do right now is to round the corners of this, what's left of the skinny rectangle that's at the top. Now the other piece of skinny rectangle is on the side, so the one that's at the, on the left side, so the one that's at the top is the one you want to round the corners. Okay, and this is what your cardstock should look like when you're done scoring it and cutting it. Okay, now I'm going to get some tear and tape, and I'm going to put it on what's left of the skinny rectangle that's on the left side. I'm going to use my take your pick tool to get the backing off. And I'm going to flip over the whole thing, flip over the side with the tape, and bring the other side over to meet it. Okay. So this is the back of our box where the seam is. So I'm going to put the sides in, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the tabs. I'm going to pull down the, the back piece here and then put glue on the back of this front flap here and just make sure that all your sides are nice and even. Flip it over and make sure that your tabs are adhered inside here. Now we need some of our DSP. I'm just going to tuck this in just for now. All right. So we need our two pieces that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters for the front and the back, and then one and a quarter by two and three quarters on all four sides, and liquid glue I'm going to put them on with. Okay, now I'm going to open up the back, and I'm going to take, this is a one and one eighth inch circle punch. You could have anything close to it, or if you like a wider one, you can. I'm just going to take a partial circle off the back and then that'll make it easier for us to open our box. Okay, now we're going to do a little stamping. Okay, first let's stamp our blueberry bushel. So I'm going to use the, from the circle sayings, the round one that says celebrate three times. I'm just going to put that on there with blueberry bushel. And then on the basic white, I'm going to stamp the cupcake with tuxedo black ink. All right. Now let's get our two inch circle punch and it's it's pretty close right to the letter, so if you don't want to have to do that, you can just make the this bigger. Cut this out with the two and three eighth inch circle punch and stamp right on there. 
the letters are right up against the cut. There we go. I don't mind if a little bit. Not really much. It's just a tiny little piece that comes off. But I'll just deal with that because I want the layers. And this is bubble bath. And I cut this with the 2 and 3 8 inch circle punch that comes with the bundle. And it is 10% off when you buy the bundle as a uh, bundle. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to get just three markers. I'm using light boho blue and light and dark bubble bath. <laughs> I forgot it already. All right, I'm just going to take some dark bubble bath and I'm going to go right on top of the lines in the swirls of the ice cream. Or no, icing it would be, right? And a little bit right where the edge of the wrapper is. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest with light bubble bath. Okay. And then I'm going to use light boho blue for the wrapper. Okay. And then I'm going to fussy cut the cupcake out. If you want to, you can just stamp it right in. Okay, and that's the cupcake. All right, now we need dimensionals and mini dimensionals. And first I'm going to attach the striped bright and beautiful DSP onto the bubble bath circle. And I'm just going to center that in this. Okay, and then I'm going to put a mini dimensional right in the tip of the cupcake and then in a regular dimensional down lower. All right, and I'm just going to put my cupcake right there. Now I'm going to put in what I have. For the blue one, I have a, a still another water pistol, bubbles, and a little car. And some goodies will fit in there too. All right. And then I need some glittered organdy ribbon. And I'm going to tie it around the side that doesn't have doesn't have an opening opening so that it'll be easier for them to open. Okay, and then I'm just gonna snip off, make sure it's in the middle. And then I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the big one. And I'm gonna put three on the sides and then one in the middle. And then I'm just going to put the cupcake right on the top, just like that. Okay, and for the final touch, I'm going to use some of the solid gems. And again, like I did last time, I'm going to use the lemon lolly. And I'm going to put a large one down here, a medium sized one right on the cupcake. And one right up here on the edge of the circles. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. My email is below along with the link to my blog that has the measurements and the link to my shop. Don't forget the host code for anything under 150. And please subscribe and hit the like button. And I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.